It's the Day of the Dead, when cemeteries across Latin America swell and people pay respects to their loved ones in their final resting places. In El Salvador, inmates have been bussed in to smash the legacies of gang members in the stronghold of the Mara Salvatrucha gang. This cemetery here in Santa Tecla had essentially been taken over by gang members and other people couldn't get close. So we've removed all the gang emblems. That's why we were here. Their remains will be left intact, but any insignia or embellishments are wrecked to prevent tombs becoming shrines. It's the latest controversial tool in the belt of the government's war on gangs. This war was declared in March, after gangs killed 62 people across the country in one day, the most violent day in decades. President Nayib Bukele summoned special powers, and since then, some constitutional rights have been suspended. 56,000 people have been arrested, and prison sentences increased fivefold. Everything that has been done is to guarantee the population security and so criminals won't be released after just five or ten years to continue harming the population. Where there's war, there's collateral damage. Non-governmental organisations have tallied several thousand human rights violations and say at least 80 people have been killed in custody. This smashing is symbolic. But when it comes to dismantling powerful, ubiquitous, entrenched gang culture, it will hardly be the nail in the coffin. Liz Maddock, TRT World.